All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the ultimate strike trophy in Persona 5 Tactics, and also how to complete the quest, Learning from a Pro, uh, which is in the Third Kingdom. So I thought this was a pretty challenging quest, and uh, I didn't really see any other videos on how to get the ultimate strike trophy. So I thought, you know, two in one video, how to get the trophy and how to beat this quest uh, should make a good video for anybody who plays Persona 5 Tactica and wants to get this done. So in this quest, you have to kill all the enemies in one turn. And that's not unique to quests. There's a bunch of quests that, you know, require you to do that. But this wasn't this one is challenging. And to do this, just follow what I do here. Um, but to do it in this one, you have to manipulate the elevators to create platforms to get your uh, one of your characters completely across the level and up to a platform while also using those elevators to move up and down enemies uh, and also leave those enemies vulnerable to attack to attacks specifically attacks where they have no cover so that you can do a follow-up and continually move your character across the level in one turn so you can just follow along what i'm doing here so as you can see when the enemies don't have any cover and it says get them on on them you can uh you can attack them and then you'll get a follow-up right so a key thing here and one of the mistakes i made when i was initially doing this because it took me a few turns is there are a few of those a few of these enemies where you want to melee attack them to knock them back that's one of them because you want to get all of the enemies in in a center in in a, in a center so that when you do the uh all out attack they can all fit and you can kill them all at once so that was one of the enemies you need to kill at once. You need to um, knock into into the center. So I'm looking around, you know, trying to see what the best move is. So for here, I obviously need to uh, move this this red platform because the blue and the red platforms move together. So I needed that platform to move up. So that's why I had uh, Aaron um, step on her red platform. And the other character, who 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 is that? I have uh, Makoto or whoever it was. Uh, I have her alternating the blue platforms. So I have an enemy right here, and I'm trying to figure out okay which is best uh, to because the enemy to the right, I can also attack them to get a follow up or this one. And I'm just I was just trying to figure that out, and eventually figured out that it made most the most sense to attack that enemy. But I'm just moving the elevators around to see if there's anybody else that would be uh that would be a better choice um to attack them for a follow-up keep in mind you can go into analysis mode uh if you need a better view to see which uh which color um you know the elevators are so you can know which which button to press and which you know character to move um if you can't see it from you know whatever angle you're at moving the red platform because that's the red platform in front of me now this is one of the enemies where you also need to melee and knock back so you can knock them into the center to make sure that they uh are in the zone for the all-out attack and i i don't believe it matters which character you choose to do this because this mission this quest requires two of the characters and, and then requires you to pick one yourself and i think i picked joker but i think you could do this with any character i don't think their ability their ability matters even though a character with hypno since you can like pull them to you or vortex i think you know you could also use the character one of the uh characters that have that to pull them uh to pull them closer like i think if i had hypno or vortex instead of hitting this enemy uh forward i could probably go right here where I'm at, use Hypno and pull them more towards the center. But as you're going to see, that enemy was still in my um, was still in my tri triangle when I get to that top platform. Uh, 
Joker. I'm going to melee this one to make sure he's in the center. Because this was a bunch of trial and error before. I think I had got up to this point before. And two of the enemies weren't in my, um, my, my kill zone, my death triangle for the all out attack. So as you can see, I have most of the enemies um, here. Most of them. S but not all of them. I think there's one that's out of the triangle. And I just need to move. I think I just needed to move Aaron a little bit to the left and to get that one included or move Joker to the right. And by the way, I think there is a situation where if you don't get every every one of those enemies lined up in the all out attack, uh, if your character has enough attack range that they could possibly finish off those uh, at least one of those enemies, I think, if one is left out, I think I'm not sure and accomplish the mission that way. But you might not get the ultimate strike, but you still could probably pull off the mission if one or either one of those characters who cannot move because they are landlocked. The other two characters are landlocked. So the mission makes it very clear that you have to get this only one character to this platform to do for the all out attack. And they are just there to alternate the elevators. And as you can see, there is the ultimate strike attack, the ultimate strike trophy. So there you have it. Once in a while, I do like to make these tutorial hints and tips videos on how to achieve something because it actually uh, does end up helping people in the long run. So, yeah, that's it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Love this game, by the way. I'm out of here. Peace.